Welcome to Beyond the Trailer's coverage of the 2014 Academy Awards. We're going to take an in-depth look at all of the top categories and then some before the big day, Sunday, March 2nd. And with all this behind-the-scenes knowledge, you'll feel confident enough to decide who you think should win in Beyond the Trailer's Oscar poll. The link to vote is in the video description. Now let's take a look at the nominees for Best Actress. Amy Adams, American Hustle. I've often said that Kate Winslet is a baby Meryl Streep, but maybe that's Amy Adams. Sure, Winslet has six nominations and one win for the reader, but that's since 1996. Adams now has five nominations since 2006, but no wins. In fact, while over in the Best Actor category, her co-star Christian Bale is the only nominee who already has an Oscar, over here in Best Actress, Adams is the only nominee who doesn't have an Oscar. You would think that would give her the edge, but then again, with all these nominations, Academy voters probably feel there will be plenty of opportunities to give her an Oscar in the future, the near future. Plus, Adams isn't quite as committed to her craft as the other nominees, mixing things up with more mainstream films like Man of Steel, The Muppets, and Night at the Museum 2. However, Adams is set to truly mix things up with a blend of artistic and mainstream filmmaking for her next project, playing artist Margaret Keane for Tim Burton. Maybe that will be her Oscar, but she could still win this year. And if anyone's going to derail our next nominee, it will be Adams. Kate Blanchett, Blue Jasmine. As Kate Blanchett said when she accepted the Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Drama, Adams got the matching Best Actress in a Comedy or Musical Award, nobody writes for women like Woody Allen which is impressive considering he relates to women in such a strange way he married his own adopted daughter. But anyway, this isn't the first time Alan has gotten an actress to the Oscars. Of course, there was Diane Keaton winning for Annie Hall, Mira Sorvino for Mighty Aphrodite, Penelope Cruz won Best Supporting for Vicky Cristina Barcelona, and he won two for Diane Wiest, Hannah and Her Sisters, plus Bullets Over Broadway. And he earned nominations for Muriel Hemingway, Geraldine Page, Maureen Stapleton, Judy Davis, Jennifer Tilly, and Samantha Morton. He's done okay by his male actors as well, but come on, we've got three other nominees to get to. Blanchett's role is also very timely, playing off of the Bernie Madoff scandal from a unique perspective, that of his wife, who's also a victim, yet not. Blue Jasmine has also benefited from Woody Allen's new Oscar strategy, releasing his films in the summer to get out ahead of the pack. It worked wonders with Vicky Cristina Barcelona, Midnight in Paris, and now Blue Jasmine, so much so that Allen has practically laid claim to the season against his fellow Oscar competitors. In fact, his next film, Magic in the Moonlight, starring Emma Stone, is set to open this coming summer. Sandra Bullock, Gravity. Amy Adams and Matthew McConaughey have had to juggle and perhaps even apologize for their commercial pasts. Yet Sandra Bullock has embraced her so profoundly she's won the respect of the Academy. It would be hard to find a more commercial film than The Blind Side, a film which had a strong moral message and was based on a true story, yet had none of the edginess or darkness we've come to associate with Oscar favorites. Perhaps Bullock was helped by the fact that there was no edginess or darkness to Leanne Tui in real life, yet she still opened up herself and her family so that others could experience that same safety. Bullock's Oscar win was huge for her career and helped her not to turn it around like her former flame Matthew McConaughey is doing, but to simply reinvigorate what she already had. She still makes comedies. The Heat was a huge hit for her this year and is set to voice the main human character in the upcoming Minions movie. And what is Gravity but really a more intense dramatic version of Speed? Yes, Julia Roberts has been known as America's sweetheart, yet it seems that in the end that title has gone to Bullock. And it's Bullock's refusal to apologize for that, which has put her at the top of the list in terms of her craft and at the box office. Judy Dench, Philomena. In the comments section of the video featuring my initial reaction to this year's nominees, someone credited American Hustle's acting nominations across the board to Harvey Weinstein. Only the Oscar Whisperer didn't have anything to do with that movie. But this? This is all him. He's the one who ensured his Philomena star made the cut, while Disney's Emma Thompson did not. And to think, Thompson only has four acting nominations and one win for Howard's End, while Judi Dench has seven acting nominations and also one win for Shakespeare in Love. Then again, while Thompson's turn as P.L. Travers was incredibly sympathetic, it's hard not to fall in love with Dench. Even mainstream audiences have come to love her as M in Daniel Craig's first three Bond films. And even as she approaches 80 and is losing her sight, so much so that someone has to read scripts to her, she has insisted that the idea of retiring from acting is the furthest thing from her mind. 
As for her chances here, Philomena does seem to be quite the dark horse, failing to generate a lot of media attention, yet still striking a chord with those who see it. In fact, in a year for great roles for women, it was Dench and Philomena who was named Best Actress by the Women Film Critics Circle. They also picked Philomena as the best movie about women, but then again, Academy voters are almost 80% male. Meryl Streep, August Osage County. Meryl Streep made another movie this year and therefore was nominated for another Oscar. She is the most nominated actress in the history of cinema, with 18 nominations, and is one win away from tying Katherine Hepburn for the record of wins, four. And if you think that trend will not continue, think again. She might be singing her heart out as a live-action Disney villain this Christmas, however she's also set to star opposite Jeff Bridges in The Giver, an arthouse Hunger Games type movie from Harvey Weinstein. But the real kicker is The Homesman, written and directed by Tommy Lee Jones, where she'll co-star opposite Jones, Haley Steinfeld, and Hilary Swank. Yep, that 19th nomination is a common. And those are the 2014 nominees for Best Actress. You'll find out who wins on March 2nd, but in the meantime, vote for who you think deserves to win and be on the trailer's Oscar poll. There are even write-in sections. The link for the poll is in the video description, and you have until February 26th to vote. I'm Grace Randolph, and I hope you'll check out the rest of BTT's Oscar coverage.